So in the previous video, we talked about how to test your formulas, how to make sure that the results they deliver are within reasonable boundaries, for example. But there's another way we can test. What's also very important in spreadsheet testing is validating user input. If you look at this spreadsheet, this selling price right here, it's an input value. A user puts in that input and he could make a mistake. And we want to let the user know as early as possible that he has made a mistake. For instance, if we enter a new item here, the stone table, if I make a mistake and I accidentally input a negative number, then suppose we would have a check on the percentages, we would know because we see now that that percentage is off the chart. So that cannot be correct. But there are more subtle ways in which we could make a mistake. Maybe we enter the same number twice and then this percentage is zero, which might be okay. That might still be within the boundaries. So what we want to have is four fields, four cells, where spreadsheet users add their input, have some validation rules right on top of them. Here's another example of validating user input. If we look at this register import, we, we see all the codes of the items that we have been selling. And this formula, the category formula, it just chops off the first item, the first character of the text, and puts it in a list. So suppose we add a pivot table on top of that data, calculating the profit per category. We need to be sure that that category is actually an existing category, that it's actually in our list of categories. And we have another worksheet where we keep track of the categories. We would want the user to know if a faulty input is provided, a code is given with no associated category, we would like the user to have an error. And a lot more validation is possible in this input worksheet. I'm not going to tell you how, because this is one of this week's exercises. So you can start thinking about it right now. How would you validate the user input in this spreadsheet? What's important about tests is, you remember from the previous video, that spreadsheets only one in three have a manual. And you might think, what does documentation have to do with testing? Those are two entirely different topics. That's really not true. Tests can serve as a means of documentation. If you put a test in your spreadsheet, the test tells a user of the spreadsheet something about it. If I look at this formula here, so I have added a formula that checks whether a given item has an existing category. And if it don't, here you have a code that starts with an X. If there's no associated category, you get an error. So this test tells a story. This test expresses to the user that only existing categories can be inputted, otherwise something is wrong. So in this way, you can use tests to communicate information about your input to your future self, if you still work with the spreadsheet in five years, or maybe one of the 11 other people that are using the spreadsheets. So tests are a means of documentation, in addition to, of course, their purpose as actually checking for errors.